Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today on our Arduino tutorials, we're going to be talking about wireless communication. Uh, specifically, we're going to be using a one-way trans—I uh, almost said transceiver there—a one-way transmission receiving system uh, using these quote-unquote five-dollar uh, transmitter and receivers. Although, uh, if you look on eBay, you can actually find these things for maybe that other way. You can actually find these things for under two bucks, which is what I did. Um, so these two things here, uh, this is the transmitter and this is the receiver, are extremely simple little devices. All they really need is an external antenna, which I've got here. It's just a simple length of wire, which I soldered on. Um, if you do use these, I recommend something about 15 centimeters. Uh, what does that work? To about five inches in length. Uh, a little longer doesn't hurt, and I do strip off the insulation. Uh, these operate at 433 megahertz ASK modulation, which is fancy, fancy way of saying AM, so they do pick up a fair bit of noise. But thankfully, with the Arduino library, there is an Arduino library we're going to be using in this, VWire, it does incorporate some simple encryption, some CRC, cyclic redundancy checks, to make sure the data gets to where it's supposed to. Uh, these things will run to about 4,800 bits per second, pretty reliably, although I'm going to probably run them at 2400. And I mentioned how simple these things are. All they really have is a data line, then that's it. They've got power, ground, and data. So whatever you, theoretically, whatever you put on the data on the transmitter will show up on the receiver. Now, the receiver, if you, most of these have four pins with two data. All you really need to do, oh, flip that around, that's a little hard to see. They have two data pins, you really only have to use one, and I'm only going to use one. If you use two, your data is not going to work out right. Okay, so to run this, I've got my Arduino Uno and my Arduino Leonardo with a separate breadboard because I don't have one of these nice things for it. We're going to be using the Uno as the transmitter in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and plunk this down there. And there we go. Uh, wait, unplug this first. So yeah, it's got ground, vo uh, ground voltage, and then this the data line. So if I plug this in so I can see it when I wire it, as opposed to the other way around. There we go. And if I grab a wire, so what we're gonna do is just gonna hook up ground. Like so, bend that out of the way. Ground to ground voltage, in this case thread wire, to 5 volts. And then the data line, we can actually pick whatever data line, we can we can pick whatever pin we want to use for this. So in this case I'm just going to use data GPI07. And that's it. So bend these out of the way. Real simple, only requires three wires to get this set up. Now with the case of the transmitter, the more voltage you put in, the farther it will transmit. So we're only using 5 volts here. This will probably work up to 100 feet line of sight, so that's pretty good. Okay, that's the transmitter all wired up. Basically the same thing for the receiver. It's still just a three-wire system. Move that a little farther back. There we go. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. Okay. So move that there. VCC up. Oh, I've got a jumper in here. Move that away from the jumper. There we go. So VCC is right here. Like that. Plug that into, let's see here. VN ground ground 5 volts. The data line, remember, we only have to hook up one data line. And we'll just hook that up to GPIO7 again. And then ground to ground. And that's all it really takes to set up these two boards hardware-wise. Really simple three-wire system. And with that, let's go ahead and start writing some code using the VWire library. Okay, so I've got two Arduino IDE windows open. Uh, one on the left is going to be for the transmitter, and the one on the right is going to be for the receiver. Uh, the transmitter is going to be the Arduino Uno. I'll make a note of that. And the receiver will be, of course, the Leonardo. 
Now, in order for this to work, we're going to be using a library called Virtual Wire, and I'll put a link to that in the description. And what this library does is it has functions built into it which deal with all of the necessary handshaking and CRC encryption that this system is going to use. So it, we're going to start with our void setup and in order to start it, to start the wireless communication, you're going to use a function called VW, virtual wire, setup, and then the baud rate. So let's say 2000 bits per second. Now you'll note that this is very similar to serial.bin at 9600 bits per second. You also have to set up set TX pin and if you remember it's using pin 7 on our Arduino Uno. So you've got to set the TX pin and that's it. That's actually all you need to start it on the transmitter. And let's start the loop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to write some very simple code which is going to take a character from the serial terminal for the Arduino Uno and send it over to the Leonardo and if that character matches it's going to turn on LED on pin 13. Okay. So if serial dot available, so if there's a character in the serial buffer, we'll create a character variable to capture it, serial dot read. And so if C is one and we'll say that means on. Send uint 8 underscore t c comma 1. And if I check that, yeah, all the parentheses match up. Now, w VW send, if I, uh, all right, so that's virtual wire send. This right here is a character array. It's, a, it's an array of unsigned 8-bit integers and I'm casting a character to that variable type. It only accepts 8-bit unsigned integer arrays. And the second number is the length of that array. So in this case, I'm just sending one character. I'm sending one byte. Okay, else if c equals 0, missing a close parenthesis, pw send uint 8 underscore t array c on 1. And that's it. That's really all you need for this side of the code. So the transmitter is fairly straightforward. All you have to do is set up the speed, set up the transmission pin, and then set up uh, what you're going to send with some, with some sort of buffer, in this case C, and it's going to be some array. So transmitter, fairly easy. The receiver, however, is a little more complicated. Like the other one, you have to include the virtual wire library. Now on this one we're not going to bother with the uh, the serial setup because we really don't need it. What we will say is turn on pin 13 as an output and let's turn it off. So VW setup, 2000 bits per second, make sure that these two uh, these two line up. They do. VW set the receiving pin, also pin 7. But this time, however, you have to say VW RX start. And what this is going to do is it's going to start listening on pin 7 for data to come over. And this is something you, it's important, otherwise, it's not going to start receiving any data. Okay, once you've got that, put in our loop. Now there are two variables we have to define. They're also unsigned 8-bit length. Uh, first one is buff length, which is the maximum length of a message that the virtual wire library allows. And there is a there is a variable to take care of that. And then we're going to create a, an array to hold that to hold the data. So this defines, this variable here defines the maximum length of a message and this is the buffer that holds that message. This is the array we're going to have to step through to get all the data. 
So if VW get message, and then we're going to tell it the buff, and then the buff length. Now what this does is it's a, it's a pointer operator, which is going to change the length of buff length to the actual number of bit of bytes we're receiving. This just says this is the array, this is where I want to put that data. It's going to be put into the array buff. And then this is, again, this is going to be the length of that buffer. We don't have to change the length of it. It's already been established to be the maximum length it needs to be. All we're modifying is how far into it we have to step to get all the necessary data. Now to get that data, we're going to start with a simple for loop. It is less than the buff length. Then we're going to say if buff i equals 1, digital right 13 high, else if buff i equals 0, digital right 13, didn't spell that right, digital right 13 low. And that's it. So we're going through each we're going through each index in the array buff to buff length which in this case will probably just be one as we defined it as we're only sending one character but it's a good idea if you're going to modify this to use the variable buff length so it is adjustable then we're going through each index and we're checking it of index i and we're checking it against the two messages we sent either one or zero and these are characters one being on, zero being off. And then based upon that we're going to either turn that LED on or off. And that's it. So let's just make sure that these are correct. That's correct. And so is the transmitter. So let's go ahead and upload these to the proper boards and see what they do. Okay, so we've got the two boards set up right here, the transmitter with the Uno, and it's currently hooked up to my PC out of frame with the serial monitor open. And over here, I know it's a little hard to see with the light, we've got the Leonardo set up with the receiver and there are no wires between the two. I'm, I'll move this a little over here just to convince you. Now if I go ahead and push zero and then send it to the Uno, I hold this so you can see it, little light goes off, uh, there it, it's off. Now if I do that again, this time with one, light comes on. Zero, off, one, on. And if you know, it sometimes takes a couple time, a couple sends from here to the receiver for the message to actually get through. That's a problem with these little buggers being so cheap. So, it's if you're going to be using this to send a lot of data, it's generally good practice to send it a couple times just to make sure it gets there. But other than that, for five bucks between the two, it's a really good way to set up wireless communication between two Arduinos. So, I'm Human Hardrive, thanks for watching.